you ever been worried that your pictures on Facebook are being used without your permission? Or have you ever suspected the handsome guy or the beautiful girl with whom you have been chatting online is real or fake? I have. In such cases, we wonder, is there any way to clear our doubts? Yes, there is, and it is known as image search, which finds similar images for a given image. An object detection system plays a vital role in image search. My research is to develop an automatic object detection system using shape. Images contain objects. Whatever you see in the image is an object. Even the person in the profile picture is an object. Moreover, there are millions of images available online. Manually looking for each image is not possible. This is why we need an automatic object detection system. Objects can be identified using features such as color, texture and shape. However, shape is more descriptive and captures the object as a whole. Hence, I am using shape. In my research, I did three things. First, I identified the regions which have similar color and texture. This gave me the shape of the object. Second, I extracted features from the shape and generated a graph. Finally, I used this graph to detect objects. I found that different shapes generate different graphs which helps me in identifying objects correctly. With my approach, I was also able to overcome two challenges. First, identify similar objects which are at different locations. Second, identify similar objects which have different sizes. I also found that shape provides better discrimination between objects. The application of my research is not limited to image search. Recently, Microsoft launched an application which helps visually impaired people in identifying objects around them. In that, you just have to click pictures and the app will tell you what's there in the surrounding. So it's like while walking on the street, if that person comes across any obstacle, then the app will tell you whether that obstacle is a car or a tree or something else. It's like giving vision to that person. Another application is surveillance, which is important for both individual and national security. There are CCTV cameras connected almost everywhere and recording data every second. Manually tracking a person or any object could be time consuming. Similarly, it is useful in self-driven cars, robotics and the list goes on. Yesterday, these applications were science fiction but today they are not and tomorrow these would improve the quality of life. Thank you.